Welcome to South of the Shooting Channel. Today we are reviewing the King's uh, Fixed Solar Panel Kit. This is 110 watt fixed solar panels for RVs or uh, in my case uh, just the uh, roof rack. Uh, if you have a flat rack or a rooftop tent rack, um, it's possible to fit it on the rooftop tent rack as you'll see, but it is a little bit harder from the size that it is. Um, comes with a mounting bracket kit um, which you won't need if you have a roof rack you'll just uh, find some other bolts and bits and pieces um, so you have a spare kit left over it comes with what's included you got Z brackets uh, aluminium support bolts uh, M816 bolts M8 nylon lock, lock nuts uh, washers and 25 bolts M8 washers and more washers here. That's what they look like. Uh, these are the brackets if you're installating it on a uh, flat. And uh, the installation is align the Z bracket too with the solar panel holes. Uh, put a uh, washer on the M8 uh, 16 bolt and four and thread it through the Z bracket and the solar panel then put another washer 9 onto the bolt and finally and the nylon lock nut tighten make sure the Z bracket supports are pressed firmly against the outside of the solar panel and repeat 1, 2, 3 for each of the four Z brackets showing you the number here and how to assemble in figure 1 it has the underside of it, of the uh, roof rack here, or on the top, so as you can see that goes on the top, the flat bit goes on the bottom, putting the bolts through the top and tightening it on the bottom here, and the solar panel pretty much sits on top of that flat bit on the rack. Um, five here it says with all the four bolts installed position the solar panel onto the roof rack and six is to line up the Z bracket two with the support plate and three ensuring that there is at least two parallel lines running between the bolts seven to put a split washer and then a washer six into the M8 and 25 bolt seven then screw it into the support plate three and repeat this will secure the uh, solar panel for all four points bit of specs on what the solar output is uh, it's a maximum power in P max is 110 watt the max power voltage is 18.2 volts the maximum power current is 6.4 amps and uh, open circuit voltage is 22.3 volts Short circuit current is 6.49 amps. Maximum system voltage 1000 volt DC. Operating between minus 40 and plus 85 degrees Celsius. The weight of it is 7.85 kilograms. The dimension is 1010 by 676 by 35 mil. And uh, should fit within the flat rack um, it won't fit if you do have a roof top tent rack and we'll have to drill through the top poles and um, somehow drill a 45 degree um, hole to get some bolts to mount up on the inside as pictures that I'll show uh, now It uh, comes with a 12 month limited warranty and I uh, bought this from Oz Trekkers uh, for $129 and um, I uh, installed it the uh, next day and uh, all is well. I've bought some wiring from 
home of 12 volts northern and uh, got some uh, connectors and connected it up uh, with the uh, intervolt uh, DCC Pro um, from opposite lock uh, to Windsor Gardens so uh, now my uh, car can uh, gain some power through the day when the car is sitting there doing nothing it will be charging in silent solar mode um, the output at the moment is uh, 63 watts even though it's 110 watt then that's most I've uh, got is under 70 watts on the full sunlight and when it is sitting there doing nothing uh, it is just doing one watt to when the battery is full which I'll show you on the monitor that it just uh, stops charging this is what the uh, solar panel looks like on the Prado 120 on a powerful 4x4 full length uh, rooftop tent rack this is uh, the 110 millimeters by 676 by 35 I've spaced it out a bit more forward because the roof uh, tent is uh, pretty much in the way and uh, needs to be forward. It doesn't have any wind noise at high speed. About 100 k's an hour, 110 on the road. I've uh, taken off the couple of lights up the top here. Basically just bolts up into the four corners here. Being able to still keep my mount because it's got a bit of a gap underneath. It was a hard process trying to line this up because it's not even. Uh, because this normally one side is just right and the other side is a bit smaller shorter and we've used these four long bolts that ends up, up underneath here we've placed the bolt underneath the uh, bottom with the head up on top here and it's hard to actually drill out a proper size hole we have to 45 degree drill it out and then uh, try and uh, drill these, these aren't straight, they're on a 45 degree angle as well depending on which way the bolt was leaning wouldn't come through we've used some rubber um, feet from the um, 4 drive super center Kings uh, Thumper Max Compressor I've taken that off, that's in the back and uh, they fit pretty much nicely And uh, the wiring just goes down the pillar here, up the side, underneath to the top of the roof here. Some electrical tape to hold it down through the window and underneath the bonnet, which I'll show you. It goes under here, under the bottom here, uh, out of the way, comes down here. This little blue box is the DCC Intervolt Pro and comes into the uh, solar attachment here the positive and uh, the negative it just goes to one of the negatives under here it has this little uh, LED here that's glowing um, aqua color which means that it's in silent solar mode and is charging the battery here which is the amp tech uh, 105 amp uh, battery and uh, is working really well and uh, inside we'll go to the monitor and it will display what the panel's doing uh, if your battery is full which mine is it will only sort of trickle charge push the OK button and it will come up with it's actually doing 10, 10 watts at the moment sitting on silent solar and that's the only way you can actually check and monitor your your battery when it's uh, this is set to ignition mode so it only goes on silent mode it's my understanding um, if I put it off ignition mode and it charges all the time it should go on regular uh, solar and the solar should be displayed at all times it's uh, pretty much like plug it into a 240 source um, so it's charging all the time when the car's off and when the car's on it stops producing solar 
we have the Anderson plug here which just sits under there it is detachable uh, so you can take this panel off if you wish uh, underneath here it's still got a lot of room to be able to put max tracks and a few small items it's easy to get to my bag here but you cannot open the windows if you do this because the rod comes up underneath the bottom uh, so you only got one window pretty much because on the other side is also the awning which you cannot put your window up when the awning is there so up on top here you can see the panel here it's uh, a few squares up there so you got one two three four five six seven eight nine squares long by four squares wide and it's got the uh, diodes there going it's very nice you got barcode glass it's a little bit dirty at the moment a bit of sand on there but I haven't seen that it drops performance at all but it is good to clean your panel when you're up it's actually on a flat lane it's fairly level uh, it's better to tilt your panels uh, to get better sun ratings so at the moment I'm just leaving it flat I have the 160 watt folding panel uh, which goes to the back trailer plug and I will test that out if it works in conjunction with the DCC Pro and put more power into the car and everything's connected to uh, my auxiliary battery like the projector and telecharge which I've got to run your TVs and uh, power your phones and laptops and this pretty much plugs directly into the battery so the solar is actually charging while the car's off and you can actually get more use out of your um, 240 uh, volt meter setup to see what the panels are actually uh, running um, and it's displaying that it is uh, 20.27 volts and 20 volts 24 minimum and 2.4 watts peak 1 amp hour um, that's just uh, what volts is coming out so 22 was max so it's running just under now we'll be plugging it into the battery source and we'll see actually how much the solar panel charging the battery the battery is pretty much full it was on 10 watts so we'll actually see what wattage it displays when I connect it uh, to that Okay, we've uh, set it up on here, and it is displaying uh, 7.6 watts. And uh, get it into it. It's a 3.6 amp hours uh, that it's putting back into the battery. 66.7 watt peak is what the panel is actually producing. 0.2 watt hours, 3.6 amps. 0.13 volts minimum so 0.37 amps so leaving that running on there for a few hours and I'll see after uh, how much it uh, comes back to still running 20.29 volts So from 110 watt, it's only doing 66, so I'm not sure if that's good or bad. 3.6 amps peak. 0.15 watt. Yeah. Alright, so we'll leave that going. And uh, we'll come back later and see what it is. For a little bit, and now we'll see what uh, the reading is. So we have uh, 0.36 amps, that's 20.69 volts, that's 7.6 watts, 66.7 watts peak, 1.72 amps, 35 watt hours and 3.60 amps. Been on for a couple hours. 
and uh, thanks for watching subscribe